Hello everybody and welcome back to Wexcombe Manor Farm. So the harvester is still going from the last week. Uh, we've done the headland, we're now going up and down the field. This shouldn't take very long at all. We've got our grain carter over here, which we'll be doing today. Now this shouldn't take much longer. It's not a huge field and the harvester is pretty big anyway. So I'm hoping to do a second job today as well. We won't bale the field straight away just because we've been doing that quite a bit recently anyway on Chellington. Uh, so instead we will just hold off that and probably work on the animals a bit more too. Now I'm hoping that when we sell this trailer load here it's going to be full and yeah hopefully the price will be pretty decent. That's the plan. And I'm hoping also that that combine is going to turn right. Please turn right. And don't just stop completely. Uh, what's he doing? It's turned left. Oh joy. Oh well. We can change it later on. Well, yeah, while it's doing that, what we'll do is we'll just check on the prices. And this is barley. Yeah. It's, it's not great, it's pretty much average. Uh, but I don't think we can really afford to leave it. So, we'll just sell it straight away. And while we're sitting here, you can see the farm over there on the top of the hill. And there's a nice, uh, I think it's a sugar beet field just going down from there. We are actually going to harvest the sugar beet field probably quite soon. Um, I've been looking forward to doing it. And having root crops is no bad thing. The pigs especially do require it, so we're going to have to have some. The harvester is almost full. So what I'm going to have to do is start it off on this side, so we can unload it going down here. Oh yes, 83%. And that will also fix the problem of it going left, because there is now a great big gap between it. So. Get it going. There you go, worker. Work it out for yourself. Hopefully, it will do. Yeah, very intelligent. And let's unload. My plan is to stay over the straw swath. Hopefully, the auger is wide enough. It should be. I will have to drop the cruise control down though to six miles per hour. A bit more in the back. I did notice there is an inspector mod out. I don't know if it's an unofficial convert from 15, but I have seen it. Right, that is empty. And we're 79% full, so what we'll do is we're going to sell this because the next load is obviously not going to fit in here fully. So there's no point in just wasting time. It means heading over to the Gomez Ridge Acre store, which I believe is actually the same one as in the Goldcrest Valley map, I think. It rings a bell. Um, but the name doesn't really matter. But the place we're going to is the same place as where the animals are. It's where you sell the animals as well. I do like using this tractor. It's a nice tractor. Uh, there is actually a modified version of it, you've probably noticed. I think it might be a... is it a Ford version? I'm not 100% sure. Right, so it must be right out of here. Yep, and underway. So this is probably the, uh, the quickest I've ever learned to map. I do pretty much know this map off the top of my head now and usually it takes me about three weeks to get into a map. This one just like that, click your fingers. Having said that I'll probably go wrong now but no I'm pretty confident I do know the map. It's the next left and then head down there to the shop but having said that there isn't exactly a massive road network on this map so you wouldn't really expect it to be too hard to work out. Yep yeah, left here. Another thing I want to do fairly soon is a forage harvest. I want to do some maize harvesting. Uh, we're also going to have to do some corn harvesting. Like I said before, it's not a massive thing you do in the UK, but we're going to have to do it because the pigs actually require it as feed. 
so we will be doing it. I'm not sure when we're going to do the corn harvest, but it's definitely on the cards, so at some point we will be doing one. Uh, probably in the next episode or two. Funny thing about this tractor is it's so slow we can't even break the speed limit. It's a 30 through here, we're going flat out. I suppose it makes it easier. Yes, 26 miles per hour. Now it should be just down here on the left hand side. Here we go. So it looks like we actually have a choice of two places, maybe. But in the shed it's going to go. I can certainly feel the weight of this trailer. This tractor isn't liking it too much. There it goes. Let's see the money go up. I don't know how impressive it's going to be. That's not too bad. But obviously it would be nice if it was more. That was uh, just over £9,000. Which I don't think you'd really complain about. <laughs> I think if you were given... Well, not really given, but if you weren't £9,000, that's not too bad. That field there really is a tempting field to harvest. But it is absolutely huge. It's massive. If you look at it on the minimap... Oh, wrong button. Yeah, look at the size of that. That is... Gigantic that field. Wow. But first, we do have to finish this harvest down here. One harvest at a time, otherwise, it's going to become very strenuous. And I think the worker is still going. That's why the inspector mod is so good, because you can actually see if the worker is still moving or not. You can see the status of the machine. And back at the field. It is still going. And it can't be too far off finishing. Look its way across nicely. Uh, well, if the planning goes well, which it looks like it's going to, when it turns around, we'll unload again. So I'll just stay out of the way. And then we'll get into position later. The worker is quite slow at turning around. It is faster to harvest a field yourself, but yeah, not it doesn't always work like that because yeah, like what we're doing here, we want to do the carting. We do need somebody else driving. Auto Combine was the best mod ever for uh, harvesting, I thought. Uh, course plays good as well, but yeah, I thought Auto Combine was very good. But it doesn't look like it's going to be an FS17, unfortunately. I don't know if it's going to be or not, but the rumours I've heard sounds like it's not going to be. Uh, but I should think somebody will convert it across, even if it is unofficial. How full was it? Mm, not amazingly full. But it'll do us, that's fine. Um, and I think, yeah, the rest of this field would do ourselves. It's cheaper and at this stage it's going to be easier. There is literally just this triangle left and like a, I think it's a triangle over there too. And then the job is finished. It's going to be quite an easy field to bail, which is nice, because a really wiggly field is going to be really hard to bail. This is just right. The three headlands to start off with always makes it easier too, because then the worker doesn't get messed up in the hedges, uh, which has happened a few times before, which we better not mention too much. But yes, uh, on various different maps, mostly in 15, I have wrapped combines around trees and all kinds of stuff. triangle here too. It just shows how it's worth fertilizing your fields first before you harvest. Um, because I'm pretty sure this isn't harvest this isn't uh, fertilized as we've just started off. 
you get so much more yield out of it if you do. We're going to put lots of effort into these fields and I'm hoping the whole plan here is to use the organic fertiliser from the pigs. I like muck spreading, it's fun. Right, okay. So we we'll switch us off, we're going to go up here. And we'll finish off this section, which is actually bigger than I initially thought. Hmm, we'll be okay. Yeah, we have to do it ourselves anyway because we've got this pylon and it'll most likely crash into the pylon if we don't do it. And then, it'll be harvesting done for today. I don't like to drag the harvesting on for too much because, well, there's only so much you want to watch. We have to do it. It's part of farming. Um, but every episode doesn't want to be harvesting. That would be pretty boring. I will just cut across here and then we'll spin around and finish off the top yeah has to be said the workers can get such straight swaths of straw which is just perfect for bailing I don't like to be out of cab too much because I get this frame drop I only seem to get it out of cab. Yes, yeah, so we're going to have to put the header back on its trailer too, and I think we'll tow the header with the combine. It's going to be easier. We have quite narrow lanes on this map, but not so narrow you can't negotiate them with harvesters. Quite cleverly designed, really. And as usual, we get left with this famous triangle, the triangle that we always get left with in every field which isn't square. And that is our field finished. We just like to process it out the back, and then we'll turn it all off. Put the reel in. Obviously we do need to unload as well, so we'll put the auger out. And yeah, we'll just head up there with the New Holland. So yeah, going back to last week's video on this map, the Toyota went down incredibly well. I thought it might do. It's a very good mod. Um, so yeah, hopefully there has been a lot of support, well there has been a lot of support put towards the author, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, it's hopefully going to be here to stay. Can't see any reason to get rid of it. Such a good little uh, pickup to be driving about with. And as I proved last week, it's handy just for, for example, moving pig food about. You can't really go without some form of farm 4x4, and that's just the one I've chosen for this map. Right, so let's put the auger in, and we'll fold this machine up. We'll put the header back onto its trailer. Hopefully I keep it fairly aligned, otherwise it's going to come flying off. Even though it is easier than it used to be. Much easier. Hmm. Still not on there perfectly, but we shall see. Will it stay in place? Hopefully it will do. I think it is a bit too far forwards. Oh yes. We'll hope for the best. So, I think what we'll do is we'll take the harvest back to the yard first of all, and we'll come back for the tractor. Otherwise, we could have all kinds of chaos. Yep, yeah, that's good. Right. Foot to the floor, and we're going back to the yard, which is thankfully not too far away. I don't know when we're going to get the harvester out again. It might be a little while. Um, it could be for the corn harvest. We shall see. Yep, header is still on there, that's good. 
And what I really need to do is find a decent place in the yard to put this because it is, it's obviously very big. I think we don't want to go too far into the yard, it's going to have to stay fairly close to the top of the yard. Um, we'll see when we get there, I'll decide. Yeah, so let's just think about this. We do need to turn right here. Which in itself is a bit of a challenge. I probably should have swung more to the left. We're at risk of taking out the gatepost. On both sides. Oh, we just about crept in there. Oh, that's not too good. Uh, unless actually, we could just reverse the entire machine with the header trailer still attached into here. That could be quite a good plan of action. Don't want to go too close to the wall. Yes, that would do. We'll keep it at that. And then we have this. Now, we don't have a full load here, we have just 40%. And I'm aware that we have some in storage, so what I might do is take this over to the pig farm, give them however much they need, which isn't too much, probably about a thousand litres, maybe two thousand, and then the rest we could put into storage, and next time we sell a full trailer load. Uh, that would probably be the best thing to do. Actually, I don't even know where the storage is. That's interesting. Hmm, I must have seen it, it's just I've forgotten. Let's see. It would appear that every gate does close itself when you close the game down and restart. Which I think is actually quite nice. Because I have a habit of leaving gates open. Oh yes, this is <laughs> seriously bumpy. We're going to go into the shed on the left hand side to get to this pig trough here. It really isn't going to take much at all, but it does need to be done as they currently have barely any feed. And this is literally just the barley. They're going to need more. They're going to need canola, uh, corn, root crops, quite a lot of stuff in the end. Tip it in. This is going to be a very pathetic looking tip, I'd have thought. Yep, there it goes. They're done. And actually, that will have filled one of the progress bars right to the top. So if you find the pigs here, there you go. Wheat or barley, fall to the top. That will at least stop them from running out of too much feed. Pig, no! Ah, oh, it's a clever pig. He went right underneath. All we have to do now is find the storage point, put it in storage, and we will be done with this tractor for today. Which is a bit of a shame, I do like this tractor a lot. Back over the bumpy track. Yeah, let me just check the map. Um, yeah, I can't... I don't think I can see a storage point, so we're just going to have to try and work it out for ourselves. It won't be too far. There's all the attachments for the telehandler. Aha, here we go. Just up here. And in fact, this yard really does open up out here. Must be because we've got all the tractors turning for the silage pits. There we go. Into storage. Fantastic. Park it up. Just there. And we are done. Okay, so we have done the harvest. We have 
obviously cleared up and we've given the pigs some extra food. What shall we do now? This isn't an interactive video, so we're not quite doing that kind of thing. So I just need to decide for myself. And personally, I don't like this trailer at all. I would quite like to replace it with, let's say, a better trailer. Um, I don't like the articulated ones at the front. Um, it's just something I don't like. So I think what we'll do is we'll get rid of it. I'll show you the one which I'm hoping to get. Uh, where would it be again? I keep forgetting. Bailing technology. Yep, in here somewhere. I've uh, got various ones actually. But let's just see. Okay, I haven't enabled it. One second. There we go. All done. And it is, let me just find it again. It is this one here. CD models. It looks like an absolutely incredible trailer. Uh, we're going to have to use probably a square baler for this just to make it look really amazing. Um, so yes, I think what we'll do is head over to the store. We will sell this one and then we'll bring back the more decent one I will say. There's nothing wrong with the model, it's just the design. I just don't like the design and I probably won't be on my own in saying that. The other one isn't articulated, is it? That would be even more embarrassing if I just go and say, oh yeah, this one's amazing. No, you see, it's, it's much different, much better. And of course, all the gates have shut again. So, yes they do, they're all shut. I think that is good. Out onto the open road. Yes, that field there is going to take so long to harvest, especially if it's done with a forage harvester. The header is smaller than uh, the big combine we have. Bit of a challenge, and we'll get an awful lot of silage. Silaging is something I haven't really done in FS17 too much, and I think it's a shame. We will do, we'll do a maize silage, definitely. Most likely going to be in that field there which actually goes behind these houses and out this side. It's huge, it's a massive field. We'll probably have to rent something like the Great Big Joskin trailer, as the small one we have is gonna be not big enough at all. And once again, here we are back at the store. It seems to be a place which we spend a lot of time at. As usual, actually. I always do. I'm always at the stores. Okay, so we'll put it here. Finding it quite hard to find the trigger. Uh, hopefully, this will do it. There we go. And that's not a bad price either. So now, all we have to do is buy our new one, which is a bit more expensive. But nothing stupidly expensive. Oh wow, look at this. Wow. Look at the chunky wheels as well. Yep, looking forward to using this, definitely. And it says long vehicle. And that's it hitched on. Let's get back to the farm. Uh, this will be used in the field we just harvested because it'll be baled uh, with a square baler. It does support round bales as well, which is, I want to put the square ones on it. Give it will look absolutely incredible. But yeah, it's a long trailer. Very long. So in tomorrow's episode, we'll either be harvesting this field on the left hand side, with a forage harvest which we'll have to rent obviously, uh, or we'll be baling and then we'll be picking up the bales with probably our money too and we'll be loading them onto this trailer behind us. It just depends what I feel like doing. I think I might do or at least begin this harvest, we'll see. But both jobs do need to be done so either way doesn't really matter. It's just it'll delay it by a week. Now if you're wondering about the schedule for over Christmas, over the Christmas period, I think I have mentioned this already but I'll just confirm it with you. Um, there will be a video every day, oh that is uh, scrapage on the new trailer, 
There'll be a new video every day except for Christmas Day itself when there won't be a video and possibly uh, New Year's Day but I'm not too sure yet Wow this is a long trailer long but a very good trailer we'll just put it into here for now just for the time being there we go and I can't wait to use it whether it's tomorrow or next week I'll put that tractor just there Now I've just discovered this New Holland T5. I think I must have used it in the tour video. And I appear to have left it at a farm up near Field 17. Uh, I don't know why. I could have reset it. But not to worry, I'll just take it back. Which means we actually have one more tractor than we first thought. I thought I'd got rid of it or something. I don't know, I don't know what on earth I was doing leaving it here. But yes, we now have a T5 to add to our fleet. We certainly have enough tractors. We have a lot of tractors on this map. Um, we're not short of them. We are short of equipment and obviously we're very short on animals. So I think the animals are the things we should really focus on most importantly. And yeah, we're gonna have to do some mowing as well. We've got so many jobs we have to do. Loads of jobs. That's the thing, when you, when you first start a map, you basically have to do everything. You're never short of a job to do. And that brings me on to the next question. Do we have any mowers? That's an interesting question, actually. Do we have any? I think we're just going to have to have a bit of a garage tour here. Just to see. So we have a New Holland T5. A New Holland 8340. We have the Matty Ferguson 5612, I think it is, possibly. The Case Puma CVX uh, 185. Manny 2 and then looking for mowers I don't think there is one so we're down on mowers I might try and find a mower mod what do we have yeah I might try and find a mower mod it'd be nice to have a butterfly and mower like this what we've got here or we could just have this setup but at the moment we can't afford it so Obviously, we're going to have to hold off for the time being. But, yeah, certainly eventually we're going to have to have some form of mower. We shall see. And actually, we might have to bail that field as a necessity straight away. Because we do need to work it. We need to get it worked. We need to get it cultivated, ploughed, seeded, fertilised, everything. Hopefully, muck spread. But it just depends how fast this lot produce their manure. Without having any straw... They're not going to be able to produce any manure anyway, so... Oh, yes, it's a, it's a tough position to be in when you first start off. If we had a forage wagon, which I don't think we do, a loading wagon, then we'd be able to pick some up. No, we don't. Okay, so, yeah, it is, um, it's tough. Humble beginnings, as they say. We're just going to have to really focus on it. Um, probably get some straw, get a, a, a straw shredder just so they have something. Um, is there anything we don't actually need? I suppose we don't need two balers, so what I could do, what I might do, is get rid of this round baler. It's worth £44,000 or something used, so that will really set us up quite well. We obviously have the Fent Farmer, which I love that. I love that tractor, really good. Um, the Massey Ferguson, and the cultivator here, which we're going to have to upgrade because it's just tiny. The fields on this map are huge, but the cultivator is minute. Um, and it does fold up, yes, I actually made a mistake on one of my videos where I took it down the road, I think it was Chellington, I took it down the road like this, which was okay because it isn't that wide, but it does fold up, you can see the hydraulic rams here, so yeah, I was a bit wrong there. But this is what I'm really focusing on, <laughs> can't wait to use this. Weird, there still seems to be some lights on the ground even though they're off. Oh well, doesn't really matter. You know what, I think I might actually load the bales up with this tractor. It would be um, quite a nostalgic feeling, I would have thought. Put a, a rear weight on it, put a bell spike on the front, should be fantastic. Oh no, we've got stuck in the wall. Well, we have so many tractors that I think we can spare one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tractor and the baler down to the field, uh, ready for baling, as 
even if it isn't this week, it's still going to be done incredibly soon. So we'll get it all positioned ready. And it could even be tomorrow, I'm not too sure. Or we could do half and half. But as far as I'm aware, this is the only tractor with enough horsepower to power this thing. Uh, yes, does it have enough horsepower to power this thing? Let's just have a look, just so we're not making a fool of ourselves. Uh, where would it be? It's clearly quite big. Yes, it is pretty big. 225, if it's that model. And it requires 185, so we are okay. Off we go. And yeah, it looks like a pretty decent setup. It's a good match. Of course, the gate is most likely going to be shut. It is. Get that feeling to start. I always say we might do it tomorrow. I'm gonna go and start doing it today. That's me for you. Just got the screenshot. I think that's quite a good one to go for. This one just coming out of the back. Very heavy, of course. I just had to stop and do that. It just looked good. So we will complete our headland head up here. Uh, but plenty more straw to go at. Once his headland is off, it'll be much easier. What I could do is do the headland first of all, and then bring the tractor and trailer, and obviously some form of bale spike, whether it's on a telehandler or a tractor, and then clear the headland, and it will give us space to turn when doing the rest of the field. So I might do that. It also breaks things up a bit as well. So the yeah, chances are that is going to be tomorrow's job. But for today, that is us finished. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. And I will return tomorrow with the next episode. Until then, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye for now.